case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In Hampton v. North Carolina Pulp Company, a 1943 case heard by the United States District Court for the Eastern District of North Carolina, the plaintiff accused the defendant of harming their fishing business and property value by discharging waste into the Roanoke River. This disrupted the annual migration of fish upstream, leading the plaintiff to seek $30,000 in damages. The defendant filed a motion to dismiss the case, arguing that the complaint failed to state a claim upon which relief could be granted. The court examined whether the plaintiff's claims met legal requirements and if they had sustained a unique injury. Relying on previous court decisions stating that private citizens can only sue for public nuisances if the injury is unique to them and not a general harm, the court determined that the plaintiff's allegations did not meet these requirements. As a result, the court dismissed the plaintiff's complaint as fatally defective, ruling that they couldn't claim damages for impaired profits since they didn't endure a unique injury and didn't have an exclusive fishing right. The decision was based on the state's decisional law and set as final. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.